Hello and welcome to another episode of Achieving Excellence. So admittedly, it's been a long time since I've done one of these, as ultimately, uh, you know, I'm finally in a more settled uh, place with my life, and I went back and I was looking at my old uh, Achieving Excellence videos, and I realized that they actually did surprisingly decently. To the point where, you know, when I uh, decided to sort of start making uh, YouTube videos again, and putting a little more effort into them, it became something I realized that, you know, if there was a series I was going to bring back, it would be this series. And I think that, ultimately, that's going to be something I'm going to be doing for Splatoon 3. This is sort of more a situation to try and see how I can reintroduce a format in a way that's going to be interesting and compelling. And what I think that uh, I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to have a more structured form of it. So I'm going to do three games. And if I manage to win the majority of them, then awesome, I do great, you know, I win the majority of them. But if I fail, I have to do one game without motion controls. Now some of you stick players are watching and you think, well that's not hard at all. But to people who have been using motion controls the entire time, um, particularly at a high level, it is a tremendous strain to just have to give that up. Now normally in my Achieving Excellence series I go over the gear I'm using and I have an optimized setup. But my Switch had to be sent in for repairs, and the data got wiped during that, so as a result, I actually am still sort of regrinding uh, my gear out. So I'm just sort of going with uh, what will help me build up my uh, gear again. So the current map mode rotation is Rainmaker. So I'm going to be using the tri slosher in, uh, in this episode. Let me actually just sort of uh, show around what I like about this particular kit. Now, I'm by no means someone who typically will play slashers. Um, I don't like the idea of maining weapons in Splatoon, but that's sort of how I've been playing in a practical sense. So, I generally lean more towards shooters. The kit is sort of the quintessential of burst cancelling in Splatoon. Cancel the animation, you throw a burst bomb, and then you have know, launch a little slash. And that's going to be the fastest skill. Now, something you should know about the weapon is that you can paint far farther than you can actually get, so that's something you're going to need to make note of. You're going to have to get a little closer. Another thing that you're going to need to make note of is that it's not a high damaging weapon, so while it is a two hit kill, a little bit of fall off can make an enormous difference. So if I go from here, for example, that'll kill, but if I step up here, that's not enough. So with the weapon bio out of the way, let's go ahead and get into our first game. Okay, well we found that game pretty quick, actually. When you use this weapon Rainmaker, you're generally going to want to be closer to the front lines. It's not exactly a painter, it's not terrible at the job, but it's by no means its primary purpose. Providing support for your team and seeing if you can get the picks where you can get them. Okay. As with any slasher, you want to make use of uh, the ability to get from, oh, from behind walls and things like that. The armor is also very useful, just as something around your team, and it's always something nice to have. Situation like there, you really want to make sure that you're keeping up with inking, and we just didn't, never got a good opportunity to push. Perhaps it would have been prudent for me to uh, save my inkar. There's another kit for the tri slosher, and it is good. I personally prefer this one, even though I typically prefer Rain, just because I think Burst Bomb is that powerful of a stuff. Yeah, now he, he, he played that well, and seen him there, and he was able to 
picky. We got a good push in there, so I, I honestly, if I were our tenth developer, well, I'd probably look to retreat. It looks like, no, uh, no, you made the right call. We have to trade in, so we were able to hold. Honestly, that was a tough call. When I came in, things went south, but... I think the Brawler Shield can really come in handy. It's such a weird weapon, Splatoon 2, so I'm not going to say that it's... ...good weapon. Aw, oh, man. Ah. Oh. That's something, uh, that I actually... ...not too shoot. I really shouldn't have this much experience without knowing the precision. Precision of the interaction between being on a wall and sloshing. Oh shoot, I didn't even realize they got the lead, dang. Yeah, I probably was focusing on the wrong area. Yeah, this is going to be a bit difficult. I think we can do it. But, girl, we're getting good inking in. He's on the wall. Okay, let's not go down. Oh man, so close. Boom, we got it. Okay, we can pop again. There we go. And then you get the dunk. Carrying as the uh, tri slosher certainly isn't a bad idea. On my old team, uh, Suffle Squad, you would have Lucarius uh, constantly carry the Rainmaker, and he almost exclusively played sloshers. Not bad, not bad. I certainly could have done more for the team, but, you know, could have been worse. Man, I was hoping. Alright, so I'll see you guys when we get to our next match, but that's one win, zero losses. Alright, so another early quick game that we found. So one thing I do want to say is that in the event of a disconnect, I'm not going to say that, uh, I'm not going to say I won't include it, but I won't count it towards the three matches. So if it's a good game, I'll still include it, but if it's, you know, if, it, if it's just not good, or, you know, there is a disconnect, I probably won't count it towards one of my three games, regardless of which way the disconnect went. Oh, dang it, yeah, no, I... I got a little greedy there. If I had a little more sub saber, I wouldn't be able to throw, in, throw another burst bomb to secure the kill. That was a mistake on my part. You just had a team member to back him up. Man, where go? Oh ho! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh my gosh! Oh, that was a lot more aggressive than I thought. I didn't think that was unsafe at all. Down, shoot. Okay, this is a plus horrible situation for us. I think my best play is actually a shark and wait for someone to come to the side. Does he have ink resistance? How did he slip out of that? Intentionally painted behind him so that wouldn't happen. Is that enough velocity? That was a nice play. Oh yeah, no, they have a really good situation on us. 
Yeah, thankfully we were able to get the assassination, but they're really deep. That is one thing to note about the uh, Slosher. It just doesn't have great mobility. Once you start, uh, like with a shooter, which is why I'm used to, once you start shooting, you just plop back in the basically at any point. Slosher, you're stuck until you complete your slosh, so. It doesn't sound like much, but it is pretty considerable. Yeah, I should maybe get that. It's a bit of a tight game. We might have it, but they're keeping us on the defensive pretty securely. Honestly, I, I'll be prank. That was a really bad play by the shooter. There's an example of burst canceling. Okay, now it's just the octo shot. Boom. We have a really good opportunity to get some more points in. Oh man, I didn't kill him with that. That ah, uh, that frustrates me. Honestly, I respect getting the Rainmaker into our base, but you know, we just weren't going to break that loot like that. I'm sorry. Oh man, he did the exact thing I meant to do. And that extra mobility, I should have gone back in the swam around and then slosh him from the side. Teams generally had very good awareness this game. Yeah, I've just been really poor with my death statistics. I've been letting myself just spend way too much time down. Boom. Don't underestimate burst bombs. They can present a threat even if you have full tank link. Sorry, just with a full tank of ink. Yeah, and just gotta get more used to the increased lag and not be so liberal with my sloshing. push eventually. As long as we keep the numbers advantage, we're fine. The problem is we just need to lose it for a moment and then they can get the push out of the They just go down there, but yeah, they got desperate. They got desperate. Very good splatter shot there. Didn't play poorly by any means, but geez, he did really well. Well, I suppose I shouldn't say it didn't play poorly by any means. It wasn't bad. It's just there were some things I could have certainly done better. And we wait for our next match. I'll see you guys in a bit. Or not. Honestly, I'm impressed. Well, I didn't like I don't like that Splatoon limits the uh, ma maps and modes you can play, but I'm not gonna deny that matchmaking speed. That was great. It's even better than uh, I remember playing back in what was it 2020? Uh, probably within 2019. Oh, two down, perfect. I'll say I probably should have first canceled that. He 
Really big grabs. Oh man. Dang. Ah, oh, I didn't notice this blue chair. Oh, that stinks. We really shouldn't be using this. That just felt undeserved. Oh well. That's how Splatoon can be sometimes, you know. Sometimes you get the really nice early pushes and you're just able to snowball that. We weren't expected to win that at all, so... I guess our league, or not our league, our whatever metric Splatoon uses to determine points was substantially lower. But in any case, that's our uh, three matches. I won the first two, but ultimately got pretty destroyed in the second one. Thank you all so much for watching.